I'm Heather Dawn. You can find me at Twitter at HDawnX. I wanted to do this YouTube video today to promote the launch of the new website that's been running a while but is currently being revamped by a lovely gentleman called Ed Dutton. I think he's modernising and simplifying the site. It's www.astronomy-wise.com I also wanted to talk about what first got myself into space and why I fell in love with the idea of just researching it. I think pretty much every day I will go on YouTube and, and watch something new. Um, I've recently been looking at black holes, and um, wandering planets, exoplanets, the new solar systems that we discover every day including Earth-like planets which is very exciting. I know I think Kepler's working on that. I'm also interested in the WISE mission that's going on at the moment, searching for um, deep space objects. Um, but yeah, so when I was, I think I was about eight years old and I wanted some bedtime reading. Um, so I wandered around my mum and dad's house thinking, oh, what can I find? I'll, I'll find a little book to take to bed. Um, well, it certainly wasn't a little book that I found. It was quite a large book, which I'm, I'm happy to say I actually still own. It's a little bit tatty, um, but here it is. It's called, oof. <laughs> You can understand why I might have got buried in this book when I was a young girl. Um, but if we turn to some of the, the earlier pages in here, you can see that it's got all the planets in there. And, um, yeah, here we go. There's a little book here about um, the universe. Now, I'm a little embarrassed to say that at this age, eight or nine, before I took a hold of this very very heavy um, and large book which I'll just pop down for now. Um, before I took a look in that I actually believed at the time that the universe consisted of the nine planets, well eight planets now, Paul Pluto, but of the nine planets and the sun and my idea was that they were just surrounded by four big black walls and I always used to think well hmm what's behind these four black walls do they just does it just end it can't just end um, so when I picked up this book it it just totally opened my mind I felt like the girl that thought the earth was flat and then she discovered it was this this round body um, and I was like oh there's so much more out there I was so excited I just remember laying up in bed I think I must have had a little lamp or a torch or something reading through these pages which I just thought was amazing and I've, I've kind of been into um, astronomy in space ever since really. Um, back in September 2012 I was approached by a lovely gentleman called David Bood upon my um, self-advertising on Twitter um, he asked me to write a piece for the magazine, uh, online magazine, on the website, um, which I did. I wrote about the coincidence of Mars following a programme on Horizon, which was presented by Lewis Startnell. Um, I went on to message Lewis, who um, thank you, thankfully replied, thank you Lewis, and he, um, he, he explained that it's just a coincidence that Mars, being so small in comparison to Earth, had the same rotation. Because I was thinking, they've got a very, very similar um, daily rotation, yet Earth has got this huge moon pulling at it, and um, poor Mars has just got the, the, small, the small moon. And I thought, well, that's quite strange. You'd think because Mars is a lot smaller, that its rotation you know, would, would be quite a lot faster than Earth's. And he, he replied with, well, Heather, it's just a coincidence, you know, that these things go on in space, it's just a coincidence. And and I thought, hmm, I don't like the word coincidence. I like to get to the bottom of these things. Um, but anyway, so I wrote a piece on the, the coincidence of Mars, and that was available in October. Um, as I said, the, the one that comes out um, on the 1st of July that I've written, is about time travel and the importance of space exploration, which I won't go into too much. I'll let, I'll let you read that yourself. Um, so yes, I'm glad that I've learned a, mo a lot more now than I did when I was eight. I'm self-taught, I don't have a, a degree. 
Um, I emailed um, Professor Fred Lobinger and um, Professor Brian Cox about doing a course at the Manchester University in which they both kind of giggled at me saying, well, have you got your physics um, A-level and have you got your maths A-level? And I said, um, not really, no, but I have got a few articles out. Will that get me through? And, and the both kind of was like, who is this girl? Who does she think she is getting on our astronomy course for, for, for doing a few, um, a few articles? So I'm looking into doing a course to get all the facts and figures in my head so I can be, you know, a bit of a professor myself, so to speak. But I am happy at the moment doing my radio work, my articles. And I'm also currently looking at doing a little bit of TV presenting as well. Um, I'd just like to to say a few thank yous and acknowledgements. Um, obviously, I've mentioned Lewis. Uh, Nick Howes has helped me out quite a lot. He's on, on Twitter, is, is a good chap to follow. He knows his stuff. Um, comets and asteroids are his speciality. Um, obviously, David and Ed for letting me come and write for them at the uh, www.astronomy-wise.com you all need to log on to there and if you're watching this after the 1st of July 2013 it'll be available for you now so yeah go have a log on and, and have a view um, I mean that's it really there's just obviously my everybody on Twitter Mwah. Um, love you all you, you get your few regulars you get the people that that you chat to on a daily basis and some on a weekly basis I'd just like to say thank you to you guys and I'm hoping to do a few more of these videos hopefully a little bit more professional than sat opposite my ensuite in my bedroom but um, see if I can find myself a nice cameraman and uh, get some professional um, props and things but yeah it's been lovely to, to just talk to you um, hello I hope you're watching um, and yeah as I said you can follow me at Twitter at hdonx. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you found it a little bit interesting and I hope you all log on to, to the new site um, from the 1st of July. Thank you.